Go green. What's up, my name is Geeks, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So in this video, we are going to talk about ticket symbol PDAC, Peridot Acquisition. This is a Spark that is actually in the process of taking Lifecycle public. So Lifecycle is a company based in Canada that actually involved with recycling of lithium from lithium um, ion batteries. So if you take any lithium ion batteries that you can find out there, this company has developed a technology that is able to extract that lithium and get the lithium ready to be reused in making a lithium battery. So that's what I want to talk about in today's video. But before we get started guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So I've actually talked a lot about uh, the life cycle of an electric vehicle here on the channel, the different players that are involved in that space. And so again, this one is towards the end of it. So a company like this, you're not gonna see a ton of growth immediately, but down the road, that's when you're gonna start seeing growth. So if you think about it, five, 10 years from today, when we start running short of lithium, you're going to see companies that recycle lithium come up big and they're going to take so much market space. So if you get in early at this stage, I'm not saying you should take your entire uh, capital and put it in there. But if you can pick up some shares of companies that are in the business of recycling, I personally think they're going to be huge five, 10 years from today when electric vehicles become mainstream. So that's why I like covering these companies. Again, I've talked to you guys about that from the start to the end. So companies that are involved in mining lithium companies that are actually involved in using that lithium to build uh, lithium batteries companies that are involved in building electric vehicles that use that lithium battery and then companies that uh, help charge those lithium battery once they are in the cars and then the final phase is when those batteries get to end of life cycle companies that can recycle the lithium and all the other metals in that battery so that the process can start all over again but in this case they are environmentally friendly because they're not going to mine those um, minerals again directly from the earth. So that's why I like talking about these companies. In Lifecycle is claiming that they are the largest lithium recycling company in North America. And the reason they use North America is because this company is actually based in Toronto, Canada. So that's why. And they claim they have the technology that allows them to extract uh, lithium at least at 95% purity that it can reuse in batteries. So, I mean, to me, if they if they can prove that, I think it's a great opportunity for them. So, again, you can go through the company here, check the, you know, check um, some of the claims that they make on their website just just so you are actually informed about the company. Um, so if you see here, this is just the news that they go in public through um, Peridot. So uh, the ticket symbol right now is PDAC, but after the merger, the ticket symbol is going to switch to LICY. So that's going to be the new ticket symbol. And now the, the combined company after the merger, they're going to value that whole deal at about $1.7 billion. So, I mean, the valuation is not terrible compared to some of the other companies that we've seen here uh, being valued at $30 billion when they don't even have anything to show for. So, if we looked at this, uh, Peridot was currently trading right now at $11.33. And when I was doing this, and this is from a pullback, so if we can just go back a month here, you can see a high of about $14.50 um, before not pulling back. So, in my personal opinion, I think um, for long term, this could be a, a great pickup that you can put in in your portfolio so you're already ahead of the game my goal is to give you value that can help you today can help you tomorrow can help you five years from now that is my goal so when I'm when I'm spending time researching these stocks I'm looking at where is the potential five years from now so we can start looking at that and I'll give you stocks that have a potential to run easily but this ones I'm really preparing your mind to think down the road so that's why I bring up stuff like this so again this this company is making some really crazy claims and I, I mean I don't see any reason why because I mean if you're talking about just recycling it's okay so they right now are not really a, a profitable company but you anticipate that uh, for a new company like this so down the road uh, profitability they're looking at maybe 2024 20, 2025 20, before they can start showing some real profitability but again that's why I say this is a, a five-year program for you if you put some money in here don't anticipate seeing any um, 
you know 10x or 15x you might see one or two x here because this thing might move from let's say 11 dollars now to say 20 that's still not even 2x yet but if we if you hold on to this uh, when we get to the point where you can start recycling this might be a potential stock and uh, maybe another company might just uh, jump in and scoop this company you know and, and and acquire them now let me switch the gear on you guys and because I, I mentioned this in another video that I did here on the channel if you look at this company called um, Redwood Materials this is another company that is actually in the process of recycling used batteries based here in the United States. And this one is pretty interesting because the guy that started this company um, came from Tesla. So he worked at Tesla for over a decade before leaving and studying um, Redwood Material. And so recently they were in the news just this past week. They signed a new recycling deal with Envision, as you can see right there. So what that tells me is that you know all these companies are starting to see that there's going to be a need for a recycling of lithium and all the, the minerals that are involved in making uh, lithium batteries so redwood material again it's not a publicly traded company my whole idea is that this company is going to go public uh, pretty soon um, they're probably going to go public through a spark or uh, if not they might get bought up by a company like tesla so you can see that they have uh, an opportunity there too so again i just want to bring that just alongside because they fall in line with uh life cycle here what life cycle is doing or you know trying to do that's exactly what redwood material plants are doing and the fact that uh redwood material has some connections with tesla because again the the founder of redwood material was an exec at uh, tesla you might see tesla buy redwood material or go into a partnership with them so they can be the company that recycles their material why would you want to do it and keep that uh, in-house with somebody that you already know uh, and you've done business with so again that's just my personal take i was going to do a separate video on redwood material but since redwood material is not trading publicly just yet i wanted to make sure that you guys are aware of it because if this you hear anything that this thing is good this particular company is going public jump on it so uh let's get back to what we were supposed to be talking about today which is life cycle again guys i think that life cycle has a potential here this is a long-term play this is not an immediate play so if you're looking for something to kind of flip in the next i don't know three four months this might not be the, the best one you can buy the dip um but it might go up maybe five or six dollars and you can sell and get out but if you're looking long term you can just buy this one and put it somewhere um, and don't touch it and just let it grow because when we get to the point where recycling lithium is going to be a thing again you want to get into the game before it starts if you get into the game when it's already you know going on you're not going to understand what's happening but if you get in before it starts you know exactly who the players are so in this case we have talked about mining lithium those there's companies out there that are established and they're doing it we've talked about companies that are building batteries there's companies out there that have established and they're doing it and new companies like quantum scape coming along we've talked about companies that are building uh, electric vehicles so you talk your tesla your neo your lucid and just name it and now we're talking about companies that are charging those batteries we're talking about blink charging charge point um ev go ev box and then now we're talking about companies that are going to recycle the old batteries so we're talking about redwood material or we're talking about life cycle here that um is uh, in the process of going public so that's what i wanted to cover in this video again my price projection here is that uh, in ten, in, in five to ten years, this thing could be over a hundred dollars. But for now, if you just want to swing trade this, you can buy the dip. Um, again, this news came out when we were having this pullback, so you can buy this dip and then ride it up to 15, 20 bucks and sell it um, and get out. So, but long term, I'm definitely um, planning on this. Uh, right now, my backup would be redwood material for recycling. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a uh, life cycle get some shares and hold it and then if i see redwood material comes out and see they go in public i'm going to buy some of that and then at that point i'm going to wait and see which one has uh, a good uh, market cap and then i'm going to go with that one and then let the other one go but at least i want to be in this space so that's my strategy let me know in the comment section what you think about it do you currently have life cycle in your portfolio if not do you plan on buying it again let me know in the comment section if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell 
so you don't miss out on new content also guys we both still has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get some free stocks it does help me continue to make content here on the channel and as always guys do your due diligence don't be a greedy savage stay motivated